Hello friends, this video on areas of parallelogram and triangle part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. P and Q are any two points lying on the sides DC and DB respectively of the parallelogram ABCD. First, let's draw a parallelogram ABC. Let A, B, C, D, D parallelogram where a B is parallel to C D and B C is parallel to A B. A B is equal to C D and B C is equal to A D. Okay. P and Q are any two points lying on the side D C and A D. D C and A D. So D C we are going to To show that area of A, P, B, A, P, B is equal to area of B, Q, C. We have just shown that area of triangle ABB is equal to half of area of ABC. We have just shown that any triangle, right, the area will be half of the parallel have the same area because what we can do is we can actually create a new parallel like this. So where we are is parallel to AB is parallelogram and this PD is a diagonal, this is a sex. So area of A, P, B will be half of area of A, P, R, B, and area of A, P, R, B will be area of A, C. Because we have the same base and same parallel. You can just do that. Similarly, you can say that area of B to C will be equal to half of. ABC. Same thing. This triangle will be half of area of ABC. If you want, what we can do is we can actually extend this and So, area of uh, this where QC is parallel to, let's go with BS here. Now, you see that this is the parallelogram SBCQ. QB is a diagonal, so QB will actually divide this into two equal areas, this area, QCB, which we are in looking for in this area. Now, area of this parallelogram will actually be equal to area of ABCD, where they have the common BCAC and they are in the same parallels. Thus, now you see with that logic, both this equation here, triangle APC is equal to APV is equal to half of area of ABCD. BQC is also is equal to half of area of ABC. So with this we can say that area of triangle AB B is equal to area of triangle BQC. And that is what we have to prove. So if we join these two equations equation one equation two, we will get that parallel. Okay. P is a point interior of the triangle A B C. So we have to prove that triangle APB is APB and triangle PCD is nothing but half of area of ABCD and similarly APD and BPC is equal to area of okay. So we do that. Let's see. So we have to prove that this triangle plus this triangle, this triangle area of this triangle is nothing but half of area of ABCD. What we can do is we can just draw a parallel. And let this be in this point. So we can say that area of triangle APB is equal to half of AEFB. Does not be split this. Right? So if the triangle and the parallelogram in the same base between the same parallel, the area of triangle will be equal to half of area of the parallelogram. So let's 
three area of P B C is half of area D E F C. We join these two. Just add these two. Join A, E, F, B, and B, E, F, C. What you get? This parallelogram plus this parallelogram. What you get is nothing but A, B, C. So this part is done. Second part. So we have to prove that this triangle and this triangle area is also equal to this triangle and this triangle. I know that this triangle and this triangle area is equal to half. Similarly, what I can do is I can just do one line like this. And we can prove that area of this triangle and this triangle is equal to half of AB. Right? So we can prove that area of triangle AB ABB plus triangle BBC. Area is nothing but half of AB of ABC. Right? We can prove that pretty easy. How? This will be equal to half of Angle A P D is nothing but half of area of A B G H. Angle B P C will be nothing but area of half of angle B H G C. Just add these two. So area of this plus this is nothing but area of the both diagonal of parallel B C D. So area of this plus this will be nothing but half of area of A B C D. And now if you see equation number three and equation number four, both have same right hand side. Thus I can say that area of this plus this is nothing but this plus this. And this is what we EFGH are the midpoints of the sides ABC and E of the parallelogram. Let's draw the parallelogram first. Okay. And let's ABC be the parallelogram. And EFGH are the midpoints. E, they are midpoints. F, G, and H. They are midpoints. We have to prove that EFGH is a this area of EFG is equal to half of area of ABC. Let's try to prove this. Let's mark these two points which is EFGH. And you can prove that area of EFGH, this value is half of ABC. Let's draw a line like this. Now, if you see, DA is equal to BC, given, right? They are sides of the uh, parallelogram. So, DA by 2 will be equal to BC by 2. So what is DA by 2? What is BC by 2? BF. So H is equal to BF. Now H is equal to BF and H is also parallel to BF. So we can say that H A BF is parallel. Also, same thing I can write. TA by 2 is what? DH. And BC by 2 is CF. So if DH is equal to CF and DH is parallel to CF, I can say that DH CF is parallel. So that means this is a parallelogram and this is a parallelogram. Okay. Now we have to prove that area of this whole thing is equal to half of ABC. First, break it. So, area of GHF triangle, area of triangle GHF will be what? Half of area of this particular quadrilateral. We have just seen that because it has the same base HF and the vertices, you see, if you join them, they form a line and it is parallel to AF. So it will be half of area of DHFC or DHCF. DHFC. 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 Similarly, area of this triangle, HFP, equal to half of area of this parallel. This is a parallelogram, this is a triangle, they have the same base and these opposite vertices will be joined and they form a line and this line will be parallel to HF. Right? We, use, we use the same theorem. If you have, uh, add these two equations, what you get is the area of triangle BHF plus area of triangle HFP. Plus, 
see that area of this triangle GHF plus area of this triangle nothing but area of EMGF. That becomes area of EMGF. So this is half of area of now. If you add DHFC, this quadrilateral, and HDF, this quadrilateral, you add this, you get EMGD. And that is what I have to do. Okay. So first I have to break it and I have to prove that the other broken quadrilateral I get is actually a parallel span. Only once I can prove that these two are parallel span, you will be sure to prove that area of this triangle is going to have this parallel, area of this triangle is going to have this parallel, and then I can add. PD is the question PQRS and AB RS. So it's first to say this PQRS and AB. Two parallelograms and X is a point on the side BR. If you show that PQRS and ABRS primarily they are same. So if you see PQRS, this this parallelogram and another parallelogram, they have same base. Same base SR. And if you take these vertices, these vertices, if you join them, they form a line, and this line is actually parallel to SR. And because PQ is parallel to SR, AB is parallel to SR, the whole PMP is parallel to SR. Therefore, by our theorem, we can say that area of PQRS is equal to area of PRS. The theorem which we study, right? Because they are Parallelograms on the same base as R and with the same parts. First part. Second part is area of AXS. This triangle. Area of AXS will be what? Area of half of area of this parallelogram on which this triangle is. If you see AS is a common side there, if we talk about this triangle ASX and ASRB. Or ABRS, whatever you want. Give area of ABRS. Why? Because you take this ABRS, and if you take this, and this is a common base, and if we find these two points, it forms a line, and this line is actually parallel to AS, right? Thus, it is a scenario of uh, triangle and parallelogram equipment. Same base AS and between same parallel. Thus, area of AXS will be half of area of ASRB. And area of ASRB is what? Area of AS, ASRB is nothing but area of PQRS. Thus, I can say that area of AXS is nothing but half of area of PQRS. Let's take a question. Farmer was having a field in the form of a parallelogram PQRS. So the field is in the form of a parallelogram PQRS. Let's take a parallelogram PQRS. The parallelogram. She, and in this case I draw he, took a point A on RS, RS, any point A, and joined. In how many parts are produced by it? So one, two, three parts. Answer is three parts. What are the shape of these parts? These are triangles. One, two, three triangles. The farmer wants to show V and parts an equal portion of the field segment. What do we do? So we know that area of APQ is half of this whole thing, right? So if, if V is over here, Pulse is over here. And pulse is over here. You see that area of V towards is what? It is nothing but area of APQ and that will be nothing but half of area of PQS. So half part we are the farmer has. 
own weeds. The farmer has own weeds in the half part, the other half part is actually couples. So actually, the farmer can either sow wheat here and the remaining part pulse, or the farmer can sow pulse here and the remaining part wheat. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot.